All right, well, a common, actually, I often wonder this. How do you store wine? Because I've been told it doesn't really matter if you're going to drink it soon. The first thing that needs to be said is there's a lot of wines that are made to be drunk early. So you can almost detect that by price point. Mm -hmm. It's not a given, but, you know, a lot of wines are made for immediate consumption. There's a big marketplace for that, and those wines have a good place. But then there are wines that will get better with age. If you have a bad bottle of wine, putting it down for 10 years is not going to make it any better. But the important thing is if you have a great bottle of wine, you can mess it up in 24 hours by putting it in light like this or heat. So the, the, the key components, the most important thing is temperature. And more important than the actual temperature, temperature is to keep it stable and consistent. So ideally around 14 to 16 is cellar space. So the darkest, coolest place in your, in your house. And then don't take it out and I know it's tempting, but don't polish the bottle every, every day because it, it's ideal if it stays still, the sediment drops eventually. And it needs to lie down so that the cork stays wet because the, when the cork dries out, it can take in oxygen maybe. So you want that sealed air space with a little bit of what we call micro-oxidation so it breathes a little bit, but the cork needs to stay wet. So lying down, cool, dark, and then humidity, if you're going to store it for a long time, also comes into play, sort of plus minus 80% humidity is good. Again, it's for, um, for the cork not to, not to dry out. So lying down flat, it doesn't need to be on an angle? No, no, just flat, okay. horizontal. Yeah. Okay, and if you're going to drink it soon, it doesn't really matter? It doesn't really matter, yeah. I mean, if I, if I have uh, screw cap wines in my house, I'll stick it into the fridge. That's not going to do anything to it. But don't leave a smart bottle of Chardonnay that you want to age for a year in your fridge standing upright with a cork in it, because that'll dry out the cork. The fridge dries out things. So if you want to, white wines can age beautifully. South African white wines age really, really well. So if you want to age a white wine and it's under cork, put it down flat along with your, with your reds. Um, yeah, and I mean, aging a wine just softens the tannins. It makes it rounder, more elegant. Very often it drops the sort of aggressive body that the wine had in the beginning and it becomes softer and more, more approachable.